I have a brand new, quite big perfume haul and I received most of them very recently. So most of them are still in their packaging. Also, I'm so bad at throwing away packaging because they are most of the time so, so beautiful, but I have to find spaces to store the packaging. But let's jump into my new fragrances. Let me start with one that got me so excited for fall and it is one from Memo. And look at this amazing packaging and also the stunning bottle. This is of course Winter Palace by Memo. And this is stunning. It's stunning. It's so beautiful. Let me spray it on here. It reminds me of something and I cannot tell you what it is but I mean like something about like my childhood or something like that something I know but the perfume itself smells like a fruity tea like if you would put a red tea because I think it also has red tea in here and then you put in some orange slices like dried orange slices and maybe some spices this is what it smells like it's a beautiful very special tea perfume to me it's very fresh so it is something you could maybe wear in springtime as well perfect for fall i don't know how it performs in winter time because memo perfumes on my skin typically are a little bit more light and this smells very light and airy but it's so special because it reminds me of this specific tea and it makes me want to try this tea out. I think I've never had a tea like that, but it just reminds me of that. It's so beautiful, love the packaging, and you know I love my tea notes and perfumes, and this is one that leans a little bit more in another direction than a lot of tea perfumes. Speaking of tea perfumes, are you ready? Look at this amazing packaging i do not know what to do because i don't want to throw this away it's so stunning so you can see the fragrance is from floraiku and this is a sister company to memo and the whole inspiration for their brand is the japanese culture and look at this packaging it's so so stunning i am in love with the packaging i love the concept as well because this is what it looks like and then you can put this to the side and you see the original perfume bottle but then you have a travel size so you can put this cap on the travel size and then you have a lid for it and it's a whole thing but it's so cool such a nice concept i love having a travel size of this perfume in here it's such a cool idea that makes so much sense this is what the bottle looks like it's so special and like nothing i've ever seen before this is what the cap looks like and i can show you just put this one in and then you put the cap on and you have a travel spray, which is perfect. But let me tell you about this perfume. So this is another tea perfume and it is also a perfect fall. And I think this one maybe is even better in wintertime tea scent. Oh my God, it is gourmand for sure. There is black currant in here and it is the most authentic juicy addictive smelling blackcurrant i've ever smelled before because i do not like the note typically because it is so synthetic in a lot of perfumes or it's just too sour in here it makes so much sense there is genmaicha tea in it which is a roasted kind of rice nutty tea and then there is puffed rice in here musk and cedar and i love all of those notes so much to me it smells a little bit like a muffin like a blueberry blackcurrant muffin like a muffin with fresh berries in it that you just pulled out of the oven it's 
quite warm still and fluffy and airy and yummy it's so 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 special i'm absolutely in love with this one and i have another one from memo which is more suitable for the warmer weather and i have been wearing this one so it is not in a packaging but i still have the packaging here this is what the packaging looks like. This is called Corfu and it is the most beautiful rhubarb scent. There are so many notes in here. It's crazy. There's pretty much everything in here. I think there's basil, rhubarb, rose, iris, maybe jasmine, amber, tonka bean. It's, it's a lot, but it doesn't smell like a lot it's not overwhelming at all it's a very fluffy and light elegant scent perfect for spring and summer maybe fall but it is quite uplifting but it has this slight powdery airiness to it and it has definitely some sour aspects to it because i think there is rhubarb uh, maybe black currant and lemons and mandarin orange something like that in here which definitely makes it quite sour but uplifting but then you have this beautiful rose which makes it elegant and the iris which gives it this elegant powderiness to it the more deep and sweet notes like the amber and the tonka bean make it a little bit more sweet because it's not like a wow sour scent which a lot of those rhubarb scents are this is such an easy grab beautiful everyday scent the only thing is that the performance is not the best so i typically combine it with something else to make it last longer okay then something completely different i got sent a men's perfume and you know i do not usually divide between men's or women's perfumes but i got the hugo boss bottled parfum and i love that they put the notes on the packaging the packaging is very simple in comparison to the other ones but at least they have the notes on here and this is what the bottle looks like boss bottle is a classic it is a very easy to wear scent i think um, for men i would not wear it myself but i like the scent and this one is a beautiful flanker i tested it already it has mandarin and incense in the top in the heart orris and fig tree roots accord and then the base cedarwood and vegetal leather and this one is a typical men's cologne i would say without being boring it's not a boring scent and what i like is that it smells very high end like you can smell it's like a very well rounded perfume something i can imagine like my uncle wearing it's like very gentleman classy fresh but it's not old smelling it's not a very vintage perfume it's just like very classy fresh out of the shower freshly shaved maybe and then you put this on as an everyday scent maybe but also i think it would be very nice as a date night perfume then i got this one right here which is called aqua di parma saferano i have no idea if this is targeted towards men or unisex or women no idea but i tested this one out already as well and this one is a very different take on saffron because saffron <laughs> since baccarat rouge it seems like every saffron perfume smells like baccarat rouge because it's typically combined with a lot of similar notes made very fluffy and quite sweet and in here it's a very fresh saffron very very fresh quite woody and i would say it is unisex but leaning typically masculine i do not know if i would wear it myself i have to see which notes my skin pulls out but it is very special and luxurious smelling perfect for a special occasion maybe for a date night and i definitely have to see how it will work on my husband 
Then I just received BDK Passessoir Extrait. I have a travel size of the original one. However, I did not like it on my skin. So I was very intrigued to see how this one will smell on my skin. First of all, this is a fruity, sweet, quite spicy perfume with some floral aspects and it is a little bit creamy but then it has this woody spicy aspect to it so as you can tell it's a little bit all over the place for me it has beautiful notes of pear ginger cacao quince but then it also has patchouli and jasmine and ambroxan which is one of my favorite notes but ambroxan mixed with a lot of other notes on my skin pulls a little bit off a lot of times and I like this one a lot more than the original on my skin it just works better with my skin chemistry I adore the bottle but I think because of the patchouli and the jasmine it's just a little bit too much for me and I unfortunately get a headache from it. But if you like those fruit I think they are called, something like Mon Paris, maybe La Vie est Belle, but you want something a bit more, something more niche, more refined, then definitely test this one out. I'm not too sure if I've shown you this already. This is the one I have for the longest time but i still have it in the packaging it is ingenious ginger by goldfield and banks and i think there are the notes on here as well i love when brands do this so this has ginger of course lemon it has magnolia jasmine mandarin sandalwood patchouli amber musk vanilla and cashmere and this one is very tricky for me because I don't know if I'm nose blind or what. I love the sprayers from Goldfield and Banks. They are high-end, luxurious spraying. And I love the um, bottles as well. I love the packaging. I have a brand review of Goldfield and Banks on my channel if you want to watch it. But this one on the test strip is a lot more loud than on my skin. On my skin, it is a very quiet citrusy slightly floral scent and i think there's one from zara that duped this one i have not smelled this one but on the test strip it's very interesting because you get this spicy ginger note mixed with a very spritzy lemon and then you definitely get those florals it's not very creamy well-rounded it has this spicy sharpness to it and I also get this on my skin. So it is quite quiet, but you still get this musty spiciness that, I don't know, it smells a little bit off on my skin. I'm not too sure. I told my husband to wear it and he wore it, but he could not smell it on his skin. It's crazy. I don't know if you had an experience like that because I love the note of ginger and most of the notes in here. Magnolia is one of my favorites, but we have a problem with smelling it on our skin. And the last one is a designer scent, which is called Paradox by Prada. And Prada makes one of my favorite scents. I have been wearing Infusion d'Iris for more than 10 years, I would say. And I love their more powdery, most of the time, elegant, classy scents that are not smelling vintagey or mature, but just like timeless. And when I saw this bottle, I was head over heels. I love the bottle. I love the idea. It was so special and I wanted the perfume only for the bottle. And now that I have it, it reminds me of a lot of other perfumes, actually. It's so funny because if you look on Parfumo or Frugentica and you see what people say it smells like, it smells like everything, basically. A lot of people say it smells like Voce Viva by Valentino, Boss Alive by Hugo Boss, and then also My Way by Armani. And to me, it smells a lot like Armani's My Way, but 
Armani's My Way has a very bubblegummy tuberose in it. And I think this one has no tuberose in it at all. It is a, to me, very easy to wear, sweet, floral, fruity scent. Fortunately, with no patchouli nearby, which is a note I do not like in those types of scents. So I could see myself wear it if I want to have something very strong because this has a big sillage. The performance is actually quite strong for a perfume in the scent family, but it is something that is so strong on the fruits and the florals that it could give me a headache. So just telling you this, if you want something unoffensive, likable, if you like fruity, floral scents, sweet scents, and you want something strong and something beautiful looking, look into this one. So these were all of the new perfumes in my collection. Let me know if you've tried any of those and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.